Here at Davis Auto Sports, we are very, very excited to offer you guys a truly, truly one-of-a-kind, very, very rare 1994 YJ military model Jeep. These Jeeps are extremely rare. This particular one is nationally recognized. Fully, fully built Jeep right here. I will go over a short list of the major components uh, later on in this video. This first portion is going to be a, a walk around. Uh, then we'll get into a condition report. Uh, this Jeep right here is uh, there literally is not much more you can do to a Jeep. Uh, extremely capable Jeep right here. Uh, this thing has been on covers uh, of off-wheel and four-wheel drive magazines. Uh, five, six page spreads. This Jeep right here was a direct trade-in here at Davis Auto Sports by a, uh, an avid Jeep collector in South Florida. He owned this Jeep, many other Jeeps. He also, real quick, traded in this gorgeous CJ8 uh, Scrambler as well, which was fully restored uh, a few years back that we actually have listed for sale as well. Very wealthy man, loved Jeeps, uh, traded them both in, believe it or not, on a 2013 Corvette ZR1 that we souped up to 850 horsepower. So these things have been in Florida uh, for years and years. He bought this from uh, the owner that had it uh, built. And this vehicle, when he bought it, um, I believe about three or four years ago, uh, the vehicle was appraised at $48,000. Um, and that's after the stuff was already done. So this vehicle would cost a ton of money to duplicate. Uh, Everything on this Jeep is absolute top of the line, the best of the best. The most amazing thing about this Jeep is when we got it in, uh, first day before we even brought it into the shop, drove it around. Jeep drove incredibly well. Uh, of course, being a Jeep builder ourselves, uh, we brought the Jeep into our shop here, went over the entire Jeep, uh, made a few changes, corrections, updated the look of it, and I'll get into that as well later on in the video. This Jeep is heavily documented. Uh, we have magazines that will go to the new owner as well. I'm sure most of you guys looking at this will know uh, just by looking at it what's what. But like I said, for those that don't know, I will be going over most of the major items uh, in this video. But on the listing and on our website, davisautosports.com, I will have a bulletin. Uh, or excuse me, bullet points on each individual item on the vehicle. I will also include a lot of servicing and stuff that we did here in-house as well because we've had this Jeep in for about three weeks and we did a ton of work ourselves on it as well. Mostly some cosmetic upgrades, uh, some exterior upgrades, some reconditioning. But this Jeep is truly the real, real deal. Drives great going down the road though, so it's really the best of both worlds. Uh, you can definitely cruise around in it and obviously hit the trails, the rocks, whatever you feel like doing. Extremely capable Jeep right here. This Jeep does have JK8 front and rear uh, in, in the vehicle. Dana 60 rear. Dana 44 front, but the JK8s are the military axles. Uh, those have larger uh, rotors, larger calipers. They're extremely upgraded from the typical uh, Dana 44s. ARB lockers, coilovers, long arms, uh, Sierra gears. Uh, the list really on this thing goes on and on and on. PSC steering. I mean, 
if a Jeep was to come in bone stock uh, and get everything that's done on this Jeep from the lift, the wheels, the tires, the gears, the powertrain, the suspension, the steering, uh, the bumpers, the hood, uh, just everything that this thing has. I mean, this is every bit of a $50,000 build um, for everything that it has. And as you see, everything that's on this Jeep is in absolutely beautiful condition as well. This thing has not been ragged out, extremely well taken care of. True beadlock wheels. Anti-rock uh, sway bar kits. Full on board air system, air compressor. Uh, you have uh, air hookups for air hoses as well. Uh, front and rear, passenger and driver side. You got JK uh, back seats in this thing as well. Another really nice thing about this Jeep is the frame is super solid. Uh, no rust issues whatsoever with the frame. Uh, the leaf springs, everything has been in great condition over the years. Uh, the floor pan has typical just wear and tear, nothing major whatsoever. Uh, but the frame is absolutely 100% solid. That's a worn 12,000 pound fan cooled winch. It's an absolute beast. Like I touched on earlier, it does have 538 Sierra gears, uh, track lock, limited slips. Uh, Atlas 2 speed um, transfer case as well. Uh, the lift is a TerraFlex Elite long arm lift. Uh, obviously, it has uh, coilovers. Those are 14 inch Rad Slow coilovers. I mean, the list on this thing goes on and on and on. The entire rear, uh, those are complete. Uh, armor plates on the rear and the flares solid metal flares as well and take a look how clean this thing is I mean this is definitely something that you can bring to a show uh, condition wise I'm not saying it's a show condition vehicle uh, but as far as your typical Jeep shows it's something that's definitely going to get uh, praised and have people talk about uh, and condition wise it, it's very close it, it's not a it's obviously not designed to be a show vehicle uh, but it really is the best of both worlds because it's something that uh, is absolutely incredible visually and as you as I'm sure you can tell off-road it's it's an animal so some of the things that we did and I'll get into more of the actual upgrades uh, on our website and on the actual eBay listing but uh, some of the things that we did on the vehicle when we got it in, uh, we went through and, and did a lot of cosmetic stuff. The vehicle uh, starting up front came with a chrome grill. Uh, we actually took the chrome grill off. It really didn't go with anything. The nice color chromatic grill matches the rest of the body. Uh, so we took the chrome grill off, polished the front grill because uh, it's been covered for years and years. So uh, we buffed and polished the front grill. Uh, it had the original uh, headlights, so we put in authentic brand new truck light LED headlights, which really gives it a, a more aggressive look. And obviously the factory headlights, to be honest with you, suck in these, so uh, it, it helps out visually at night as well. The headlight bezels, as you see, we blackened those out as well. The driving lenses below, 
the headlights. We took those out, sanded those down, and lightly tinted those as well. Uh, the front bumper uh, was in phenomenal condition, but uh, over the years, I believe the, the build has been completed for, I got to double check, uh, I want to say four or five years, uh, I may be off a little bit, uh, but mileage wise it's only been about a thousand or two thousand miles, not a whole lot of miles on it, uh, but we want to freshen everything up. If you guys are unfamiliar with us, uh, I'll give you a, a quick glance of our facility. We don't just sell regular vehicles, everything that we sell is absolutely beautiful, pristine, uh, we get every vehicle as clean as can be, whether it's a Jeep, a high and exotic car, uh, a highly modified vehicle, no matter what it is, we spend a ton of time on getting vehicles as nice as we can get them without completely going overboard and restoring every vehicle. So uh, with this one, we know if we spent a couple weeks on, you know, just dressing it up, it would uh, just look so much better for the buyer and, uh, you know, the market would appreciate it much more. So... We sanded down the front bumper, uh, primed it, painted it a semi-gloss black, gives it a nice clean look. Uh, same thing with the bottom portion of the bumper. Uh, and that goes with the coilovers. Uh, we took, put the Jeep up on the lift, dismounted the coilover system. Uh, the, the front, all the steering components up front, all of that stuff got completely sanded down, uh, painted with a beautiful silver and clear coated. There was absolutely zero, zero rust on any of these components, uh, but they were just showing typical wear, and we're definitely not gonna sell a vehicle of this caliper uh, leaving our facility like that. While the vehicle was up on the lift, uh, front axle housing, everything got sanded down, painted, and uh, as you'll see, it is absolutely as smooth as can be. Uh, so there was absolutely zero rust or anything, but. We just wanted to get this thing beautiful, which it is. Uh, track bar, bracket, uh, nice wells all the way through. That got sanded and painted as well. Track bar was taken off, sanded completely down, painted. Uh, same thing with the steering system as well. So everything was primed, etched primed, sanded, base coat, and then clear coat. And the end result is just beautiful system because uh, whether you're going to go off-roading or just drive this Jeep, uh, it now looks beautiful. Nice gloss on the coilovers. Same goes with the frame. Uh, frame got scuffed up, uh, which is our term, got sanded down. Uh, nice coat of flat black just to give it a really nice clean look. Same goes with the frame. Uh, no rust issues very flat metal all the way through same thing with the leaf springs same gig with the side steps they got completely sanded down prime painted nice clean new look we got brand new lugs just to make the wheels look absolutely perfect we polished the center caps cleaned up the wheels and this is just all little stuff that just goes a long way just to really complete the vehicle There's a lot of stuff, guys, that I didn't tell you about the underneath of this truck that it has from, you know, all the control arms, uh, gas tanks. I mean, this thing is truly fully done. Uh, up front, another thing that I just kind of would have missed. Uh, when the wheels and tires were off, we uh, cleaned up the brakes and obviously painted the brake calipers red to match the, the body as well. Just a small, subtle touch because you can see the, the brake calipers. Uh, the rear braking system on this Jeep is massive, part of the JK8 uh, rear uh, Dana 60. Sanded down the door handles, painted those as well. This thing has a beautiful roll cage as well. Check that out. We continued on uh, with the rear bumper tire carrier, sanded that down completely, primed it, painted it. Super clean look now. The rear solid diff cover, same gig there, took that off. Service the rear, it's got brand new synthetic fluid in it. Uh, while the rear uh, diff cover was off, cleaned it, scuffed it, primed it, painted it.
LED rear tail lights. Another thing, guys, this thing drives awesome. It, I mean, I, I've driven countless Jeeps, YJs, CJs, XJs, TJs, JKs. I've, I've driven everything, every sort of suspension setup, uh, every sort of, you know, just every combination. And uh, th this thing's absolutely incredible. AC, obviously. Seats are in great condition. It's got rear JK seats. Floors have been Linex throughout. They're absolutely spotless. Rear compressor and air tank. Controls your lockers, all sorts of stuff. You also have your hookups right there. There's your gold fitting hookup for the driver's side. Underneath that light over there is your hookup for the passenger side. Atlas two-speed transfer case, manual transmission. So as far as the mileage goes on this thing, guys, there's a peek at your nice new gas tank. Um, just to be on the safe side, because this thing did go overseas, um, it's in kilometers. It shows 37,000 kilometers, uh, but we're going to sell this true miles unknown. Uh, which is common and that's actually on any vehicle of this age uh, most of the United States automatically sell vehicles So just make that announcement uh, You know, we are going to advertise it with what shows on the odometer uh, As the mileage, but we are announcing that it's true mileage unknown uh, Because like I said this thing and I'll get to the listing um, More information on the listing make sure to read it thoroughly uh, this thing did go overseas, so it is in kilometers. Shows 37,000 kilometers. Dash is very, very clean. The entire inside of this thing is absolutely spotless. So here's uh, the back. You have a lockbox right there, which we have the keys for. It's a very deep lockbox. Fit a lot of stuff in there. Uh, here's your recovery system, so to say. Uh, you have two air hoses, your strap. Uh, this thing is also set up for an onboard welder. So it's got your welding gear as well. So, guys, if you don't know about us, we specialize in building Jeeps. Um... We're mostly known for our XJs, uh, but we do all sorts of Jeeps. Uh, there is a JK that we just did, full Rubicon Express goodies, Fox stuff. Uh, but we do all sorts of stuff. I'll show you uh, one of our Cherokees that is not completed yet. Uh, we do a little bit of everything. Here's an old Bronco that we've been doing a ton of work on as well. But here's an XJ. Uh, this thing's got new paint, new suspension, new steering. Uh, we do engines in these things. Uh, all custom interior from leather, custom sound systems, uh, the whole nine. So I'm kind of just showing this to you guys so you can see uh, what we do. This thing's got a brand new paint job, Kevlar package, full suspension, the whole nine. And this thing's nowhere near done. So if there's something that you guys want to add to this Jeep, I really don't think it needs anything. Uh, it's absolutely perfect the way it is, but... If there is something you want to add, just let us know. We will be more than happy to do so. Another thing, it does come with a black soft top. The soft top is in good condition. It's not in perfect condition, uh, but it's, it's definitely suitable for uh, the vehicle. There's no major defects with it. Drivability, like I said, guys, this thing drives 100%. No issues whatsoever. Uh, it's surprisingly uh, comfortable for... Uh, for what it is as far as the way it drives. It drives very straight going down the road. We do have uh, a four-wheel drive edition magazine where this was on the cover. It also has a six-page spread, uh, which will go to the owner as well. So there you guys go. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to contact us directly at 955-XJ-Jeeps. Once again, that's 955-XJ-Jeeps. Thank you.